Hello, horsey pals. This is Wildland Acres back today with Stormy Cove because I thought I should mention something which could be on several people's minds. What do we do when we have a new account? How do we work on managing our funds so we can afford lots of stuff and get to lots of money? Like you see in Wildland Acres, you see more of the finished products than how to get there. So I would, thought I would go over a little bit, a bit with you today. The first thing I need to address, however, is the money I got from leaving my account abandoned with Mares in the Pasture so long. This does not look like a new account. So I thought that I should fix that because I'm not really budgeting for low funds the way I would as a new account because I have so many horse bucks available. So the first thing I need to do is make my money no longer horse bucks so I can't draw from them on a regular basis. So I can get up to 56 IVs. I'm going to get 56 IVs. So now we look, I'm down to like 3,000. Definitely a different pictures from finances go. So now I will continue. So one thing you need to do in your new account or not need, like a good thing to do is get your weekly pay every week. So this will get me up to almost $8,000. So that's going to help me quite a bit, especially when you ha don't have as much money. Now, another thing to look for is the daily show bonus. If you look down here, you earn a 618 horse bucks daily show bonus from showing. This is gotten from the number of points your horses have. Like if you come to barn, like most of the, like this guy is a full I created, so he hardly has any points at all, but I'll, these are mirrors I created. I'm actually not gonna be keeping these original mirrors. I will get, um, I will discuss that further in a moment, but they have these points and you get about one horse buck a day for every 10 points they have. So like this horse would give me about, 30 horse bucks a day. This horse more like 72, 73 maybe. So you want to show, you want to get horses with points. You want to get pointed created horses. You want to show your horses to get more points. So you will get more of a, more horse bucks every day automatically. I will say like, I'm only getting about 600 a day, which isn't a lot, but at the same time, when I started the account again, like a week ago, I was only getting 50 horse bucks a day. And then I created some, uh, some mares and stuff, and I was up to 300. And then I like made those rank special, like those horses I showed you, which are rank specials, which we will be trying to sell in a moment. But I made those and I also showed my horse. They showed my horses twice. So twice for, or four times, twice from la for last week, twice for this week. And that has added to the number of points that all of my horses have. The older they are and the more trained they are, the, the more points they have a chance of winning. Like foals, they're like at most, they can get one point a week, but a lot of these horses can get way more than that from a week. One of the reasons why filling up your your stable with foals will actually hurt you in until like seven months down the line, which a lot of us don't want to wait that long to make some money to do something. But just from creating a few horses and showing them, I've gone from 50 horse bucks a day to 600 
horse books today. True, I will say I do have, I still have, like, a, I had several older horses die on me over rollover, but I still have, like, 30 older horses. I will say in my defense, however, that these horses are hardly trained and they don't have many points like they're comparable to foals basically so these older horses aren't helping me much it's these created horses with like 300 points like this horse alone probably has more points than all of my older horses combined so these older horses aren't helping me that much but at the same time they're not hurting me right now because I don't I'm not filling up my barn room Anyway, so they're helping me as much as 14, 70, 27 points will help me. This will give me like three horse bucks a day. So I'm not going to scoff at it at this point. But at the same time, three horse bucks is three horse bucks. It's like, it's not, it's not being an overwhelming cheat card on my account. I'm just saying that. So yeah, you want to have your horses with points. So let's go back to a primary barn for these horses. These horses, which are not shown, these horses are what's called rank special. So when you go to create a horse page, every once in a while, it'll say that Emmett shared with you a special herd helper. It'll almost always be a rank special. You come here and this will tell you when the rank specials will be shared with you. So the next time a group of them will be shared will be end of November, but then they'll be shared daily till like the end of December. I will tell you the one shared on Christmas is basically a free fantasy gene. It's a horse with ice nines, or not, not ice nine, ice one. So if you, I would, if you're interested in fantasy genes, I would go for their, this as a keeper horse because it is very rare that you get, like this is the only time you get fantasy genes on herd helpers currently. That could change because it used to be no horses were shared with herd helpers with fantasy genes and now there's that one. But these horses usually have either really high breeding abilities compared to, to other horses create horses or they have better breeding abilities than any other horse you could create and they also have like way more genes than normal create horses so these horses are highly sought out for and everybody can create one but many people want more and since everybody can only create one these horses are usually worth way more than you create them for you create them for 2500 and we're, we're going to go look at the going rates for these horses if we have any horses put back up for sale yet. Like I already went through and looked at the going rates for these horses at the end of last month, but we're going to go through looking for how much to put them for again. But yeah, you can you you can sometimes sell these horses from anywhere from four to ten times what you created them for. So this is if you're not using them uh, to for your breeding project, create them, sell them. This is going to be a really fast means of gaining money to get funds to help build yourself up. So we first start with chicken feeder. I think this one, this one was a candy corn from a couple days ago. So we have our candy corn horse. So to try to figure out what the going rate is, you go to search for horses, click for for sale, and then in tattoo name. So that thing is saying candy corn, that's, quote unquote a tattoo, it's a hidden tattoo. It's basically something stuck on the horse's page so you know more about the horse. This is a candy corn rank special. So then you go, I'll do 
corn because if you do any misspellings at all it won't show up but you don't have to do the entire thing so we have five thousand okay so th this horse like they were going for like ten thousand earlier they're worth even less so th these are these ones are riding horses so this is a there are fewer people breeding for riding horses. So, so it's a two-edged sword. So if you create a riding horse, some, sometimes there'll be nobody looking for one. So you're selling it for hardly anything. On the other hand, if you're bre breeding for riding horses and you want one like few people are creating them so if you don't have one for way cheap you'll probably have to like ask if somebody had ask people like before they've created them all yet if they'll create a riding horse to sell and some people could charge way more for like riding horses or giraffes than for warm blood so it's either a good or bad thing it really depends on supply and demand as is everything I'm gonna, mine's a warm blood. I'm gonna start with 8,000, which probably is not, like earlier they were selling for 10,000. But once again, supply demand. I will put her for sale. So I clicked control panel, then there's this thing. Then you can put the amount you wanna sell them for. Sell horses, check for that coming up. If you want to take a horse off the market, you select that and go, you sell it for zero. So the horse is now off the market. But the whole thing is I want this horse on the market because, and then you look and she has a sell sign on her. So then we go here, Candy Appaloosa. Oh, I forgot something with the other one. So, Let's go and test, do all, run all the testing on her performance inspection. As like this is what you're going to see with all extra breeding ability horses. Like it regularly will be 9.9 .9 inconsistent, but 10.4 means that you, this, like this is an exceptional breeder. And they will all, all rank specials will pass breeding advice. People want the reading advice done. I don't know why, because they're a rank special, but this could help you sell your horse. So let's look. Okay, this one has an extra silver to it. So since she has an extra silver, this is a rare rank special. So we'll probably sell her for a bit more than the going price. She is a candy Appaloosa. So, we're gonna go here, ask for for sale, put candy as in there because that's in her tattoo name. I'm confused. These don't look like candy apples. Oh, I'm seeing the candy corns. Candy app. Okay, there's no candy apple for sale at the moment. I want to say. Like one thing, she'll be the only one up for sale. So so I don't have much competition with the price there. And if there is a demand for it, there's very low supply. Plus she has the silver gene, which since I did the genetic testing, I know, so I'm gonna, I wanna say they were going for 30,000 Last month, I will put her at 35,000. 
and see if she sells. Once again, all these prices are, we'll see if they sell and later on when I'm back on this account for breeding, if they haven't sold yet, I will lower their prices. Wait, this is 3,500. 35,000, there we go. Like if she sells for that price, that's gonna be, that's really going to help. Apparently I got really tired of naming horses at this point. This is our first snow mare. She looks like a regular first snow mare, but we're gonna do genetic testing, performance inspection, even though we know what it'll be. She's another exceptional breeder and she passed advice, but people like it when you do advice on the horse. So the customer's right, right? Just first snow. Check to see if there's others for sale. Snow. Okay. This person's advertising theirs for 75,000. They're going off of the, like this is the only one you could pick for, for a riding horse. I don't think I'm gonna go quite that much, but I'll, if that's how much the others are going for, like that one hasn't sold, keep in mind. We can only see the ones which haven't sold, but if they're choosing between the horse that I'm selling and her, I think I will advertise, like I think a, like the, these ones usually go for 30,000 anyway, so I'll post her for 30,000 to see if she sells. Like, yeah, we created her for 2,500, advertising her for 30,000. These rink specials, you have to be careful and their prices overall are beginning to drop because they're becoming more, more common. But these really help you get a lot of money quickly. Shortcake pizzazz. She is a strawberry moon. I want to say this is another one that was going for 10,000, so not as common or not as common, not as looked for. She's so this one is a Chimera rank special. So they'll have two to next strands. Like kind of like in real life, sometimes there's horses like, like they're red and gray striped or something. And it's because there's two the genetic material, like two, two embryos growing up fused. And so you have the genetic material of two horses. In real life, they can only breed with one of those strands, one genetic abilities, but with here they could do either or. So she's both a black skin roan pearl and a black skin roan pearl. So very exciting, but okay. Reading advice. Oh, I should check my funds. Okay, I still have funds, but just these testing on these is causing issues. So let's look at her. So this is what a strawberry moon looks like. We have cream and pearl. Yeah. So usually they're, with created horses, there's one gene different with the chimeras. This one carries blanket size gene, which since she's not an Appaloosa, doesn't change anything. But yeah. So we're gonna quickly see how much they're going for now. For sale, moon.
Oh my goodness. So guys, I just jumped up to 44,000 horse bucks. This means that people are buying these rank specials that I put up for these insane prices as I'm putting them up. Wait a moment. So yeah, I just went from 6,000 to 44,000. Rank specials are really gonna give you a leg up. What are these? Catch a blue moon. So I'm once again got the wrong rank specials. So let's go back and instead of looking for moon, look for strawberry for sale. Fourteen thousand, thirty-five thousand, twenty-five fifty. So they're actually going for a lot more than they were a little bit ago. So it's a good thing I didn't set a poster up for 10,000 then. I will post her for, okay, this one's 35 because it has snow. This one's a rank, uh, they're all rank specials. I'll put her up for 25 and see what happens. So that's easy, just put another zero in there. Fine. Yeah, um, like, we, like, I know that I've posted more than two for sale. A lot of them have already sold for these prices that I'm putting at, which seem insane. Now we're going, these ones were all made during a black blackout event, so they're all going to be black rank specials. So they're going to be un un different from the normal rank specials of their type. Plus, like there was the one for the day, and also, if you check, if you go and log into the Create a Horse six times, you then you then get. Uh, you then get uh, a daily, a daily, like if you check in five times, uh, six times, your daily herd helper will be a rank six, which is almost always a rank special. So then you can create that. So let's pretend that, let's activate this, pretend that this is a rank special. You turn it on, this has 25 crates, you'd only get one create for a rank special, but then you'd have a show bonus of one. So if you click share on forum and somebody else creates one, you'll be able to create two. So that's a way to get two rank specials like every once every six days, even if Emmett is not showing, it's sharing with you rank specials. So two of these are going to be from a daily herd helper. The other one will be like this one was one that was shared. So this one is a trick or treat. Trick or treats are usually chestnut or brown, but because she was created in a blackout, she's gonna be homozygous black. So let's do the testing on her. Genetic testing. 10 point four in consistency. So she's an exceptional beater too. They always pass breeding advice. Let's look at her because she's got some fun things going on. She has Sabino one, white two, and frame. So Sabino and white two are both some very intense white genes and frame causes it to go more in the middle. So it's like a framed white almost. Look, we have a black framing the white kind of. So this is like people who like flashy horses will go for her. And sometimes they like them more with the blackout. Sometimes they don't. Let's look up trick or treats. For sale. 
Now, guys, I promise I didn't tell anyone I was making this video. Like, we're not scared. I'm not staging people buying these horses for me. I promise you that. Trick. This horse was a trick or treat not made in the blackout so she's a chestnut and she's sold for twenty five thousand. i think i will set mine up for twenty five thousand too because there's honestly i think trick-or-treats can be blacks too so it's not as unusual or special that she's a black one if anything since there was a blackout during the time. The fact that the other one was not black is going to be a more rare thing that people are going to be looking at right now. So come up here. I'm going to set her for 25,002. And now these ones are pumpkin spices. They're not going to be shared by Emmett till like the end, like November 24th or something like that. But these horses, they're usually bay duns. Either, no, they're chestnut duns, but because it was a blackout, they're all blacks. No chestnut, no dun. Just kind of sad because I like duns, but if people want this horse as black, these are, these are rare. Like there are very few you hardly ever get these as wax because they're made as chestnut duns normally if there's they're not created in a blackout and i only got this one from a daily herd helper so most people didn't get this so if we look this one is another camara rank special that's why they've got the striping Okay, so this, they, she carries chestnut, but it's still black. And she has two copies of Splash. I'm trying to figure out what gene is. Okay, one of her genes, her, her DNA sets does not have a sooty. That's not really exciting, but she is a black one. So I'm gonna put her for 30,000. And she's a draft. I made her as a draft because some people really want drafts. Let's look at her. She is same thing, but a warm blood. Let's see what her gene difference was. So refresh the image. Okay, so this one has Robicano and Snow. Did the other one have Snow? I don't think so. So this one is going to be worth significantly more because Snowflake is a very rare gene to get in foundations. Plus she's got Robicano. So I'm going to put her up. I'm going to put, I'm going to say no flake rs so people will know why i am pricing her this way and i'm gonna put her up for forty thousand. so this is gonna be let me see 16 times what i created before if she sends for that i don't know So yeah, I can't even remember. There were several horses that it's like the snowflake. Now the first snow, and I want to say the trick or treat already got sold, which has left me with some nice money. Now something we still want to look at. So we are, we went down about a thousand daily show bonus from selling these horses. But what we can do to counteract that
Let me see. Well, we can do headers, I guess, Rome. We can now, now that we have money, we can now create horses. Make sure that like we're creating horses for their, uh, for their points. So we're not gonna be breeding them. We're going to be, at least not right now, we're going to be creating them specifically for their created points. So let's make a few of those. I'll make them four years old, so I could breed them this year if we wanted to. But since these aren't rank specials, they're not gonna be as good as breeders. This one has 205 points. So, Two hundred eighty-six, so thirty-one horse flex per day. Five hundred twenty-four, so fifty-six. This one's twenty-two. So, for making these horses, I've already bumped up my herd. My, my Daily show bonus, true, I've created, I spent a lot of money in creating these horses, but I'll show you a trick to that too. Underneath, so 12 horse flecks per day, so that one's not as exciting. Pretty blue roan though. This is from the heterozygous roan herd helper. So all of these carry one key, what? One copy of the gen Den Gene, 30 horse bucks per day. This one only 11. It's like if these are random numbers, I wanna say a thousand is the biggest number you can get. This one is a gray. Twenty, fourteen. Okay. So we could make more, but let's just see what we've got here. First of all, actually, I should have looked and not creating those horses bumped us up to nearly eight hundred horse bucks a day from using the money from using the money from selling rank specials that we got from for 20 2500 I then could create all these horses which made my daily show bonus go up but now let's look at these horses and we can Select all of these horses and we can do breeding advice on all of them. Some of them are okay, some of them are better show horses. Genetic testing, performance inspection. Now let's look. Okay, I want to say my lowest is this 5.5. Where's frowns when you present your prospect? She seems rather put off by the animal. It is doubtful the squirrel will be any good. Let's see. You do like nine. Doris raises her eyebrow as she inspects your prospect. The corners of her mouth form a tiny frown before she fills out her clipboard. She turns away quickly, unimpressed, without even a dismissal. So yeah, she usually doesn't like foundation horses that much. But now we look at these horses, like I should show them all. I don't show them on camera because that takes forever with the free accounts. But if we go here, this horse has a current lifetime payout of nearly $6,000. That means keeping the horse for like 
like about two real life years to get that money, which is a lot like you can increase this amount by showing them. But at the same time, the, this is already guaranteed for if somebody's going to keep this horse forever getting that amount. So we can, and a lot of more established barns with more stall space so that they can have more horses are more likely to go for these horses because they're young, they have way more points than other horses their age. Like, okay, 4,000 and 6,000, like this is kind of pushing it, but we can now put these horses for sale for not their full lifetime payout, but for more than what we created them for to try to get more of that lifetime payout in our pockets at once. And here we are, we're back to 45,000 again, selling rank specials. Like, and I'm not staging this. Like they're, they, these horses that I sold, put up for sale for so much are selling so quickly. This one, 85, so I will put this one up for 5,000 so we can get the money from uh, their lifetime payouts that much quicker. Like we can get that money now Oh, I forgot to check to see. Okay, it's only four, so I'm gonna put her up for 3,000. It's still more than what we sold her for. If they don't sell, they can be in our show barn. They can be show horses. But if they do sell, we'll have that money to use to get more horses for our show barn. Sell it for 300. Like, I don't think you even can sell a horse for under 500 in open selling like this. Okay, 9,000. So this one is definitely going to be one I'm going to put up for 5,000. But this will be a win for us. It's kind of expensive, but, but for like after people have a certain amount of a show bonus, they can't get pointed crates anymore. So this is this is a bit of a benefit. Wait a minute, who is this? Current lifetime payout. 23,800, so. But yeah, if your horse only has 50, has 524 points, that's how much we make for you in its entire life. I'll put this one up for 1,500 because of how many, how much of a show bonus is. I don't think this one will sell because it's not a, it's a show pony, but 15,000. Yeah, because like definitely not putting it for 150,000. But like this is a horse that, yeah, like keep for my own show string. Thirteen thousand. So I will put her up. For 9,000. Yeah, these horses which are worth more, they're worth more. So if they don't get sold, it's good for us. Like I imagine these 5,000 ones are probably the ones which are going to get sold. Well, so I'm gonna put this one up for 9,000. And yeah, if they if these horses don't sell, they can be in our show string and give us money every day. Not a bad thing, especially these ones which give you us like 50 horse bucks a day.
Another one I'll put up for nine. So I'll put up for five. And for this, and for these ones, like don't go low enough in funds or you'll be hurt if you don't sell these horses. It's kind of a you will let people buy them if you want them to. If they don't buy buy them, these horses are gonna give you more money in the long run. But if people do sell them, uh, buy them, it's like win-win. Not as much of a win for them because they lost that much of the daily of the all-time payout. But yeah, and I'm up to 60,000 guys. Create those rank specials, get pointed creates, get your daily show bonus up. Okay, I'm back down to uh, about 700 again. So let me see, sold. See, I sold horses. Okay, this is one of those uh, pointed creates that I just created and put up. Yeah, these are these horses that I put up just for show ponies. See a former horse? This one, 13,000, I put it for sale for 9,000 and it's already, it's already sold. So that means I could make that many more horses to put up for sale as show ponies. I'm not gonna do that right now because this is already a longer video, but I started, like I went down to three, to just under, not even 3000 horsebacks at the beginning of today. True, I had already created the rank specials. When you find rank, when you have rank specials shared to you, create them. But then I put, put the rank specials. I did my weekly weekly pay. I did, I put the, the rank specials up for sale. I created your horses and put them up for sale for more than what I created them for, but less than their all time show payout. And I've went from 3,000 basically to basically 70,000 in like a half hour. Oh, and I forgot to unlock these achievements, which will give me more money. I have 50 show results. Reach 250 points held. That would be getting like a 200 show bonus. Sell a horse. That's what we've been doing all today. Okay, so now we'll need to add tack, add tack from five horses and buy horses from the auction. This one is kind of fun because they'll give you the crate price for a horse, but you have to buy a horse from auction for more than the crate price. But, so this isn't something you do for money, it's more to be able to get another achievement. Oh my goodness, guys, like, are you seeing this? I went down to 3,000 horsebacks. I'm at 110 horsebacks or 110,000 horsebacks in like a half hour. This is like, since I'm selling horses and I'm selling created horses, this is hurting my daily show bonus, but I will say that once you reach a certain show bonus or a certain daily automatic pay, you no longer get the point to the ability to create pointed creates. So you won't be able to use that strategy anymore. But at the same time, 
make those rank specials, build, build your daily show bonus. Feel free to use the fact that you can make created uh, pointed creeds to your advantage. These points are more important than foals at the moment. Like I'm still going to create, I'm still gonna breed my pasture with these mares in here and have my seven foals on the seventh. But focusing on selling rake specials, show like a daily bonus and that like those three things I keep on hammering in is going to more than pay for it. So yeah, this was not staged at all, I promise you. Tip on how to make money. Like this is one third of the money that you need to make to get a basic upgrade, which will improve quality of life immensely, because then you can like just click one button to show all the horses in your barn. You don't have to click do like five clicks for every single horse. But yeah, in like a ha like aside from logging into creating the rank specials every day, a half hour got this amount. I really hope I really hope that this will help you guys build up in your barns too. Have a wonderful day. Bye.